just how much are you looking forward to Thursday night in European football turning across? Yeah, really looking forward to it now. It's my first opportunity to actually play in it, so um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. It should be a great, great experience. What's the buzz been like around training this week? Has it been kind of hard to keep a lid in it knowing the is coming up? Yeah, not really. Like, you know, it's something worth being excited for, so I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Um, obviously, we had to get through Friday first and thought it was a good performance there, and after that, we could just kind of set our sights on on uh, Thursday and looking forward to it now, like I say. Just take us back a week when you were beaten 4 1 by Derry City. I mean, like, what was the conversation like in the dressing room after that, and what's been the kind of turnaround and performance you put into these performances? I actually that? wasn't there, I was ill. Yeah. Uh, I had a tummy bug, so I was told to keep away <laughs> for fear of infecting all the lads, but um, you know. You can imagine what was said. Um, you know, we needed more hunger, really, and uh, drive. And I think the last two performances, anyone who was up in Finn Harps and anyone who was at the Bowls game can say we definitely gave that and probably should have, you know, edged both of them. But uh, it wasn't to be. Did you watch either of the, the games between Neil Carlin and Cardiff? Yeah, I watched the first leg. Yeah, and um, they look good, tidy footballers. So uh, should be a good game. What kind of a step up are you expecting in European football, Colin? Like, or is it is it something you can't kind of expect until you've actually experienced it? I don't know. <laughs> um, I expect it to be a lot more technical. Uh, from what I hear, it's a lot more kind of teams will feel each other out first and foremost, and then yeah. kind of you know the first twenty minutes is almost like a boxing match, just finding your range, and then after that it kind of gets into gear. So. Um, I suppose I expect something like that, but you never know. Every game is different, so. And was that especially frustrating last year when you missed the, the leg in Rosenberg games, or when was it the case that when you were out, you know, you were just unhappy to be missing any matches? Um. Well, there are obviously games, the cup run, and those kind of games, and the important league games are the ones that really hit home most. But uh, you know, every game you you're sitting up there is difficult to watch when you're not available, but. Uh, no, definitely the Rosenberg game and the Legia one would have been great to be available for and not to say I would have played in either of them now, but uh, you know, to be available for selection it would have been unbelievable, yeah. And you've had a bad bad run of it with injuries like this season and last season, whatever it is about it, Oriel Park it seems yeah. to have a bit of a hex on you. Are you happy now that you're kinda back approaching full sharpness? Yeah, yeah, I think I'm back fully fit now, uh touch wood to be nothing more around the corner. Obviously, they've got the likes of like Alan Bennett and Dean Kennedy and Pam Lee, the coaches stepped up. But they're European experience. Have they been that they've been useful in the crisis to tap into? And have they been sharing that with some of the players? Oh, for most of the boys have in abundance as well. Like um, you know, there's only a few of us that haven't had a chance to play it. So um, you know, the boys obviously are sharing their knowledge, which is to be expected. But uh, you know, the lads know what to expect as well. And is it something like as a league around football or so much do you look forward like to playing in the Europe? Ah, it's one of the best, you know, things about playing in the League of Ireland and you know, the likes for those Preston boys, most of them will never get to play in your you know, they're obviously earning a lot more money, um, and a perceived much higher standard in the championship, but they never get a chance to play in Europe and stuff like that, which is something that, you know, you can really Really look forward to and enjoy and look back on when you retire. It's something that was unbelievable. Colin, you've been subject to score goals over the way in the last couple of matches. How important on Thursday was it to actually take to actually score and take a lead? Where would you want to return match? I'm not sure really. Like you know, we could draw nil all, and we could draw one one all away, and we go through. Like you know, so um, we go out every game to try and win it. So and try to score as many goals as possible. The last two games wasn't to be. Um, it wasn't through a lack of trying. I don't think anyone who's at the game would have said that. Um, so hopefully we can take our chances now on Thursday and take a lead to Luxembourg, but it's going to be a tough game. How do you, how do you kind of compare the opposition to Luxembourg? Um, on a par with who would you say? No, it's, kind of difficult. it's very very hard to say. I've only seen them. Have you seen the DVDs? Yeah, seen the, the first leg and bits and pieces of the second leg. Um, they look like very tidy footballers, technically very good, move the ball well, and uh, good rotation in yeah, midfield. And, players, and, uh, the Portuguese in front of it. Sorry? The two Portuguese players. In well, should, there you go, you know, the boys from France all, yeah. all over the, the continent. So, um, you know, they'll be good footballers. and I don't know what to compare them against because 
you know, it's very hard to say before you play them, um, but I'm sure they'll be a, a very good side. Is, is it hard to block out the possibility that you could be playing Rangers? Uh, it's been mentioned not around the dressing room, but I've had a, a lot of people saying it to me, oh, sure, you could have Rangers now in the next round. But, uh, you know, there's no point saying it ourselves unless we actually can go and do the business, you know, we just have to take one game at a time. How have you found the change in system the last couple of games, Colin? You know, do you find yourself getting forward more and, and having to work on that side of it? Yeah, yeah, I probably should have had a goal or two the last day, but um, a bit, of, a bit of blood rush to the head uh, when I had that folly, to be honest. Yeah. But uh, I seen myself dinking the keeper, blasted the ball over the bar. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's definitely uh, an enjoyable role. Get forward a lot more. Um, and get in attacking crosses at the back stick, and it's tiring, but it's good. Yeah, Enjoy like it. that's the thing because you're up and down the line the whole time. Like, do you have to kind of? Try and develop an extra long or two to be able to deal with that. Be handy to have one anyway, I'd say, yeah. yeah. Do you prefer that than just playing right back in the back four? Ah, no, I don't really mind now, to be honest. Uh, it's much for muchness. Yeah.